Muy buenas, vamos con otra aventura gráfica clásica. Esta vez le toca a mi aventura favorita. Para mí está un poco por encima del Monkey Island 2. La historia y los puzzles son los más originales que he visto nunca. Hoy juego a Manian Mansion 2, el día del tentáculo. Y recuerda, si te gusta el vídeo, dale a like. Y si te gusta el canal, suscríbete y dale a la campanita. Y si te interesan los juegos largos, suscríbete a mi canal secundario. Tienes los enlaces en la descripción. drink that it looks bad for you nonsense it makes me feel great smarter more aggressive I feel like I could like I could ah! yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Like I could. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... back to the mansion.
Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Bien, tenemos aquí todos los controles que se pueden mirar después, pero no creo que sea muy... Todo se puede manejar con el... con el ratón. Bien, eh, esta versión es la versión remasterizada. Yo he dejado el menú original porque me gusta más, pero eh, la versión remasterizada tiene un menú diferente pero no, no me acaba de convencer, así que he dejado el menú original lo que sí tengo remasterizado es lo gráfico y el sonido Entonces, el, la versión original es así este es el original y la remasterizada, que es la que vamos a jugar, es así bueno, ya hemos visto que el Dr. Fred eh, ha encerrado a los dos tentáculos y los va a matar porque uno de ellos ha tomado aguas residuales y le han salido brazos y como le han salido brazos pues ahora se cree <ríe> se cree que puede conquistar el mundo bueno, se cree y lo va a intentar así que los ha encerrado a los dos y como Bernard es amigo de los tentáculos pues quiere salvarlos A ver, ¿qué tenemos por aquí? Tenemos la planta Chuk que estaba en el primer juego. A horticultural horror. Tenemos aquí una octavilla. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. De una ferretería. Por cierto, aquí han cambiado el agarrar por. Antes estaba así. Ni a recoger. Y lo han cambiado a agarrar. Bueno. Octavilla. It's from George's hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Tenemos la puerta de la oficina. Tenemos aquí arriba un vómito simulado. Un vómito de broma. How did that get up there? Buena pregunta, ¿cómo llegó eso ahí arriba? Tenemos una moneda de 10 céntimos pegada a un chicle. Mmm, Spearmint, my favorite. It's stuck to the floor. Bueno, tenemos un libro de texto también. Of thermodynamic flux induction circuit design. Great stuff. Un timbre. Neat. Tenemos un teléfono roto. It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. Otra moneda, ya tenemos una. Aquí hay otra. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. No, a ver si... I don't have time for that now. I'm on a mission. No, no quiero hacer llamada. Tenemos una libreta de un banco suizo. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. It's closed. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Una botella de Tipex. Que no la vamos a llevar. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. 
Tenemos una cámara. <ríe> Sonríe a la cámara. Make sure they get your good side. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. The safe is closed. En la cámara está mirando a la caja fuerte. I don't know the combination. Ahí está, no sabe la combinación. Laverne's covering that territory. Laverne ha ido por ahí. Y Hockey ha ido por aquí. Hoagie's got that part of the house. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Aha, a secret passage. This is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! To the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogen! Doc, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! Well, I'll be! Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh.
mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking! Bueno, para intentar que el que el tentáculo púrpura no le salgan brazos y, y no intente conquistar el mundo, lo que hace el doctor es intentar enviarlos a los tres al día anterior para cortar la salida de, de los productos químicos que el, que el día siguiente convertirán al, al tentáculo púrpura. Pero al utilizar un diamante de imitación no funciona y ha enviado a Hoggy 200 años al pasado y a la vez 200 años al futuro. Así que lo que tenemos que hacer es traerlos a todos al presente. Hey, I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. Y para que Hoggy pueda enchufar su máquina del tiempo, necesitamos los planos de una batería. Esta, esta ya no sirve de nada. Esta es la palanca que cortaría. Ahí está. There, it's off. But it's too late now. Ya es demasiado tarde. Esta corta el, el líquido al agua. El líquido que está soltando, que está echando en el agua. El que vive el tentáculo. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. Ahí está. Capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! Ya I've tengo got los the plans. plans. Quick, we have to flash them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flush them. Yes. Down the toilet. No, through time. Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Okay. Come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred! Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. 
good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. El hockey tiene un abrelatas y la, la batería. Bueno, la, el diseño de la batería. Por cierto, este diseño, ¿veis que tiene una cantidad de aceite que llega hasta aquí? Una cantidad de vinagre, tiene picatostes. Esto era la clave del juego. Supongo que se la habrán quitado aquí. No tendría sentido que el juego tuviera clave. It's the battery plants I'm supposed to give to that red Edison dude. Ahora podemos pasarle objetos del pasado al presente o al futuro y podemos ir cambiando. So as soon as Hoggy gets that battery working, we are set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. Bien, podemos ir cambiando del pasado al presente, al futuro todavía no, porque la ver está colgando en el árbol y no puede hacer nada. Entonces, lo primero que tenemos que hacer es que la ver se libere. Hay que tener en cuenta que lo que hagas en el pasado eh, le afecta al presente y al futuro. Y lo que hagas en el presente le afecta al futuro. Entonces ponemos, eh, y luego tendremos los tres personajes en los diferentes eh, en los diferentes tiempos. Entonces este eh, Hoggy lo que tiene que hacer es encontrar a Red Edison, que es el el tatara tatara tatarabuelo de de Edison. Y del doctor Fred y, y darle los planos para que construya la batería Poder enchufar la batería al, A la máquina del tiempo O a la cronoletrina, como le llaman Y poder salvar a Hoggy y llevarlo al presente <risa> Y Bernard lo que tiene que hacer es, es conseguir Un diamante, pero uno de verdad No uno de imitación, que sabemos que no funciona Vamos a con Hoggy en el pasado. Ye oldie outhouses. Grody. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Están cerradas con llaves. Aquí está el enchufe cuando tengamos la batería. Kumquats. Puedo llevarme. No way could I pick that up. No. The father of our country is gazing out at me. Wow. <laughs> Those founding fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. Bueno, primero vamos a entrar para hacernos una idea de lo que está pasando. la misma mansión tanto en el pasado en el presente como en el futuro es la misma mansión bien aquí tenemos este John Hancock este es Thomas Jefferson y este aquí es George Washington y están escribiendo la constitución de los Estados Unidos ver, ir constitución en desarrollo la están creando vale
vamos a ir a donde estábamos antes. Este es Benjamin Franklin. Hi there, mister. Franklin, Ben Franklin, soon to be known as the inventor of electricity. Uh, do you know Red Edison? He's a scientist guy, too. Red Edison? A scientist? He's just an innkeeper who pretends to be a scientist, and he's not very good at doing either one. I can't believe Washington and Jefferson picked his in of all places to write our Constitution. speak I am attempting to lure power out of the heavens to do my bidding when I succeed I truly shall be the most powerful man on earth I wonder what red would say about that who cares about that crackpot donde se encuentra el tío este uh, where's this red guy at Down in his secret lab, of course, neglecting his guests. También está en su laboratorio privado. ¿Qué tiene de malo el red? So bad about red. What can you say about a guy who spent the last four years perfecting a left-handed hammer? He's insane. But he steals other people's inventions too before they can even apply for the patent. Not that I'm bitter. No eres el tío del billete de 100 dólares. Aren't you the hundred dollar guy? Hmm, the hundred dollar guy, not bad. Necesito a Red para que me ayude a salvar a la humanidad. I need Red to help me save humanity. So he's a missionary now, eh? Well, why not? Can't be any worse at that than he is at inventing. No debería decir el descubridor de la electricidad. Shouldn't you say the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Ha! I, Ben Franklin, I'm going to summon power from the sky by sheer force of genius. <laughs> Realmente está de atar, Ben. You are truly whacked, Ben. Oh, that's what they said about the man who invented bifocals. Wasn't that you? Good point. Guess they were right. A mí tampoco me vendría mal un poco de poder para la máquina del tiempo. Eh, cuando construyamos la batería hay que recargarla. I could use a little power myself for my time machine. There will be power enough for all in time. There aren't any time machines yet anyway. That's next summer's project. Bueno, recordemos que lo que está haciendo Franklin, aunque no lo dice claramente, bueno, sí, sí lo ha dicho. Lo que está intentando hacer es una cometa lo que tiene aquí y lo que intenta hacer es atraer un rayo del cielo. Pero claro, no está lloviendo. No hay tormenta. Y exactamente cómo vas a hacer para traer el poder ese. Exactly, are you going to do that power luring? Using one of my newest inventions. I like to call it the Francocopter. That's a kite van they've been around for thousands of years. Oh, sure, as toys, but this one is a letter to the gods. It says Dear Thor, just one drop of your mighty juice in the hands of a genius like me could illuminate the entire world. Love, Ben. I hope you wrote it in Swedish so Thor can read it. Or were those guys Norwegian? I was speaking figuratively. What actually is happening is that I'm waiting for lightning to strike my kite. Y 
luego qué? Buena pregunta. And then what? And then the electricity charges the kite. ¿Y luego qué? <laughs> And then what? Then the electricity travels down the string. And then what? <laughs> It charges me, of course. And then what? I glow with its almighty power. And then what? I use its power to make the world a better place. And then what? The world kneels before me, asking me to guide it with my mighty benevolence. And then what? I have all annoying pests like you locked up. And then what? Shot. Oh, I see. No te hace falta una llave o algo por el estilo, ¿cierto? Aren't you missing a key or something? The key to discovery is daring intellect, my boy. Daring intellect and rigorous science. No, I mean a real key key. You mean the where the heck did I put my keys kind of key? Yeah. That's a manual device. It needs no power. Seriously, man, what are you thinking? Se supone que Franklin ató una llave para traer el rayo. No está lloviendo, no hay relámpago y encima no ha atado ninguna llave. No hay nada eh, de metal para traer el rayo. No hace demasiado sol para los relámpagos. Isn't it too sunny for lightning? Shh. I know that. I'm just trying to keep my grant going until we get a storm. Well, I'm going to back away now, just in case. Carry on. Aquí tenemos un carro. It's totally covered with crud. Carro sucio cubierto de mugre. Y tenemos el buzón de correo. Bitcha. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Parece que el Dr. Fred ha conseguido que a alguien le guste algún diseño suyo. No será el de el martillo para zurdo, ¿verdad? Esta es la misma momia que vimos en el primer juego. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. Do you know where I could find him? Great hat, man. I dig the three-corner idea. It's like the pyramids, you know? I heard pyramids are supposed to have weird energies. Far out. Well, nice talking to you, dude. El sombrero no se lo puedo quitar. Yo. Hello. What's up? You cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. He's going to give the log to starving children? 
I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George, I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... a, a, a writing the... We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft, you'll only make me colder. Wimp. Why don't you build a fire? Lo mismo, no? Repite lo mismo. I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the law lo mismo. of austerity and won't part with it. You mean it's like a symbol of growth or something? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George, I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. No deberías trabajar en vez de estar ahí sentado. Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any um, amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any br brilliant ideas. <laughs> ¿Qué tal sándwiches gratis para todos los músicos? <laughs> What about free sandwiches for all roadies? No, there's no such thing as... Don't say it, dude. I've heard it before. ¿Por qué firmas tu nombre con una letra tan grande? How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. Lo que le pregunta dice, ¿me quieres decir que tienes un complejo de este niño? Es que él no sabe lo que es el astigmatismo. Así que le dice, por ejemplo, mmm, de verdad, déjame verte las palmas de las manos. Really? Let me see your palms. All right. The, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go crazy over guys with a big signature. Vaya manta que tiene. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. Well, I gotta go, dude. La manta va a ser importante, pero claro, no se la va a quitar porque tiene frío. Necesitamos hacer fuego. Y aquí tenemos el buzón de sugerencias. The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, amendments to the Constitution. Para hacer las enmiendas para la Constitución. Vamos a hablar con Jefferson. Hey, tall, dark and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas, my name is Thomas, <laughs> and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule. Filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. La cápsula se revelará dentro de 400 años, que es donde está la verga ahora. So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Dude, is that like the constitution? Right now it's just a constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log and I'm saving it for posterity. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. 
Me encantó tu trabajo en la declaración de independencia. Dude, I loved your work on the declaration of independence. Ah, oh, thank you. What was your favorite part? Me gustan, me gustan las S que parecen F. I like those S's that look like F's. I see. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? Tenemos la cápsula del tiempo. It looks like a martini shaker. El leño. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Que no nos lo va a dejar llevar. Sorry, I'm <laughs> saving it. It's going to be a famous log. La Constitución. They don't seem to have gotten too far. Que no han escrito nada. Una pluma chapada en oro. Stolen from the desk of George Washington. Hey, keep your hands off that. Y tampoco me dejará llevarme la Constitución, claro. You can look, but don't touch. Y vamos a hablar con George Washington. Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> Un momento, pero si te pareces a George Washington. Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich, how quaint. ¿Tú no fuiste presidente o algo así? Weren't you president or something? Yes, I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Yo soy gran entusiasta de la educación. Me parece que la ecología es muy importante. Depende de cuántos cerezos hayas cortado. I'm a big fan of education. Really? How surprising. Es cierto lo tuyo y el cerezo. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. No me harías una demostración. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. Vale, dejemos lo de los cerezos para más tarde. Eh, demasiado frío para ti. Cold enough for you? Cold? Why, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent a winter at Valley Forge. Now that was cold. Why, my spit would freeze before it hit the ground. Cool. Extremely. Y vamos a dejar esto también. Por ahora. A ver, ¿qué tenemos por aquí? Espaguetis. Sometimes I like to eat it raw. Aceite. Mmm, salad oil. Bitchin. Y una bomba de agua. Tenemos un cubo. It's empty. Un cepillo. It's already open. It's already open. Y nada más por aquí. Bueno, tenemos el pájaro. It's a little cage with a canary in it, perched above a little lever, huh? Es un detector de humo.
How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. Segunda planta. George duerme aquí. I guess this is George Washington's bed. I bet it calls the butler just like on TV. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Hey, lady. Yes, Mr. Washington. Mi nombre no es Washington, es Hoagie. My name's not Washington, it's Hoagie. <laughs> That's funny, Mr. Washington. Imagine being named after a sandwich. No, de verdad que no soy Washington. No, really, I'm not Washington. You're George Washington, occupation founding father. It says so in the register. Esta no es mi habitación. This isn't my room. Well, you certainly messed it up as though it were. It's no use trying to fool me, Mr. Washington. Bien, tienes razón. Soy Washington. <laughs> You're right, I am Washington. I knew it. No tienes materiales de limpieza. Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Like most maids, I keep them on my cart, in the hall. En el pasillo. ¿Sabes dónde puede encontrar a Red Edison? You know where I could find Red Edison? He's probably in the basement workshop again. He's always tinkering with some invention instead of running the inn as he ought. Bueno, te dejo. You get back to your work. Yes, there's lots to be done. Ahora vamos al pasillo. Tendrá aquí el carrito. Y me puedo llevar... Un jabón. Oh, ha. Ah, Get away me pilla. That. It's a good thing I finished in there quickly. Now scram. Tenemos que hacer... Don't make founding fathers like they used to. Tenemos que hacer que tarde más tiempo para poder llevarme el jabón. Ahí está. <ríe> Destrozamos un poquito la habitación. Creo que con eso ya es suficiente. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. Ya está. Ya tengo el jabón. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. Tengo otro diseño más para la bandera. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Se le podría poner un águila metálica calva cromada. ¿El, ¿Qué tal una calavera con escorpiones en la boca? Debería tener un holograma en alguna parte. Necesitamos una chica con un bikini de cuero y un hacha. <laughs> la calavera. How about a skull with like scorpions in its mouth? Oh, what the heck? At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. I like these. Son los prototipos de la bandera. You've already rejected those. Con el símbolo de la paz y todo. A ver qué tenemos aquí, botella de vino. Chateau de Chipo 1775. Plano de la cometa. I don't quite see how it can fly. 
I don't understand that technical stuff. No me lo puedo llevar. Probably the underwear drawer. Grody, man. I don't go through people's <laughs> underwear. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Looks like he spent a lot of time in there. Nah, there's printer's ink on the sheets. con el caballo Hi yourself. <risa> Vaya, pero si sí puedes hablar. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. Yo creía que los caballos no podían hablar. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Ah, if you want to put it that way. Esto es algún tipo de truco. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Bonito nice dientes. teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Pagué mucho por ello. ¿Qué hace un bonito caballo como tú en un lugar como este? What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? Estoy tratando de volver al futuro y salvar al mundo. I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. <laughs> well, I gotta go. See you later. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? Soy el modelo. Debo de vestirme ya. I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. Soy el repartidor. Está bien si descargo aquí. I'm the delivery man. Okay, if I unload in here. Actually, we are well supplied with medium. So, thank you. No. No soy el repartidor de mármol, pero el rock sí que es mi vida. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing. Where you're from? Where exactly did you come from? Del valle, del futuro, del futuro. The future. Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. Look out. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Bien, con esta gente no podemos hacer nada. Por ahora.
Pintura roja. What a pretty pussycat. Very Spartan. Very Spartan. It's one of those pulley things. Bien, tenemos una polea. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Está bloqueado con la cama de alguien. It's just a cold chimney. Necesito el ratón. Yoib. Y ya no hay nada más aquí. Hemos visto todo. Ahora habría que ir a ver lo que pones vamos lo que vamos a hacer con con Bernard. Tenemos que mirar toda la casa. Hey, Dr. Fred. We have to do something. What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit. No power for the chronogons. A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world. It's a dark day for mad science. ¿Por qué no podemos sencillamente arreglar la máquina del tiempo? Esto porque le falta el diamante. ¿Qué tal si descontaminamos el río? Ya no, ya es tarde. ¿Qué tal si atrapamos al tentáculo púrpura? How about catching purple tentacle? He's long gone, probably taking over the world as we speak. Hombre triangular visto en el lugar. <ríe> Ataques contra vacas asombra a la policía. Well, Bake sale? Do you realize how much a diamond costs? Two months of the groom's salary? Two million dollars! So, you've got money, don't you? Well, I didn't get all the money I expected from that TV show about us. We had to rent out our mansion as a hotel just to make ends meet. Uh, if only I had signed that contract in time! Contrato. What contract? Well, after that incident when I was possessed by a meteor from outer space, somebody decided to make a show about us, but they didn't pay us anything. All we got was a cut of the video game. Wow, that thing made millions. Yes, I forgot to sign the royalty contract in time, though. I still have it in my safe upstairs. Busquemos el contrato de la caja fuerte y firmémoslo. Ya es tarde. Let's go get the contract out of the safe and sign it. I forgot the combination. But that's... that's so stupid, Dr. Fred. <laughs> I know. It gives my enormous brain nightmares. Every night I dream about opening the safe, but I find something horrible inside and slam it shut. Over and over again, night after night. Is that why you drink so much coffee? I haven't slept in two years. Eh, tenemos que hacer algo. We have to do something. Yes, we have to get a new diamond. 
¿Qué tal si descontaminamos el río? What if we unpollute the river? I could just shut off my sludgeomatic machine, but it's too late. You have a machine whose sole function is producing toxic waste? You can't have a high-tech laboratory like this and not spew poisonous filth. All the other mad scientists would laugh. Isn't there anything we can do? Go diamond shopping. Se le van a estropear las manos haciendo eso. You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. Sorry, coffee jitters. Maybe you should switch to decaf. No, then I'd fall asleep and the dreams would come. ¿Cómo va lo del científico loco? How's the mad scientist biz? Not too lucrative lately. We're living mostly on the income from renting out our mansion. That and Edna's tips from her exotic dancing. Call me when you get a diamond. Bien, necesitamos dos millones de dólares para comprar el diamante. Hay un contrato que está dentro de la caja fuerte, pero no sabe el, el número. Y todas las noches, si se queda dormido, va a abrir la caja fuerte, dormido. Pero le da miedo y por eso está bebiendo café. Así que tenemos que hacer que beba café descafeinado para que se quede dormido. Máquina de hielo. I don't think I can pick that up. It's pretty darn cold. Han convertido la mansión en uno en un hostal. Cerramos la puerta, aquí hay unas llaves. There's a whole lot of keys on here. There's a whole lot of keys on here. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of two million dollars. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. Ahí donde vamos a comprar el diamante cuando tengamos los dos millones de dólares. Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Tenemos una moneda. Dime and you'll have a good time. Necesitamos más moneda. Buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. I can't even do this right. Eh, tenemos tinta que desaparece. Me la llevo. Hola, me llamo Bernard. ¿Tú cómo te llamas? Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? Los hombros caídos y el rostro alargado. Stooped shoulders and long face? I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me.
A mí me gustan tus ideas para diseño. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. Quizá yo pueda ayudar a que te anime. Maybe I can help cheer you up. Oh, I can hardly wait. ¿Por qué no sirvas alguna melodía que te alegre? Don't you try whistling a happy tune. I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Este hombre no lo vamos a poder animar para nada. Maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Uh. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Nietzsche had some interesting ideas along those lines. Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Never mind. No vamos a poder hacer que... Lo que quiero es que me deje entrar. Pero no vamos a poder. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's going to go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. ¿Cómo va tu nueva banda? How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Carefully crafted melody and distinctive counterpoint? Volume, man! Volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. No buscáis un nuevo guitarra hace tiempo. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations, but we have a huge following in the club scene. That's great. Yeah. ¿Para qué tienes la cesta de paja? ¿Tienes un gato? ¿Qué cesta? Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. ¿Esta? ¿Cómo se sienta un tentáculo en un cojín? Es verdad, bueno, se sienta. Se sube, ¿no? How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. Getting back out of it is hard. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Bien, Tentáculo Verde tiene una, una banda que hace mucho ruido. 
It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Planes para dominar, para dominar el mundo. Might work. Ratonera. It's pretty small. Powerful looking speaker. Mmm, plenty of wattage in this stereo. I can't wait to try my 8 tracks in it. There's no label, it's probably blank. Vale, me llevo la cinta vacía. Wow! This is loud! Es el vómito simulado que está en la... Justo en la habitación de abajo. Pero no se ha caído del todo. Necesitamos que se caiga. Ahora sí. Bueno, vamos a apagar esto porque... Whew. Aquí no estaba el caballo en el pasado. Hey, aren't you weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Vanulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Mm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. Está traumatizado de todo lo que pasó en el primer juego. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like... Ding! Oh God! <laughs> I hear it in my dreams till this day. Entonces, cada vez que Bernard tocaba el, el timbre de la casa y este hombre bajaba a abrir la puerta. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes, but then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... How are the folks? 
where Dad's in the basement doing an experiment, Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon, Ted's in the front yard... Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a birdbath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. I've got one just like this packed away in the garage. El Mania Mansion original. Jeepers. Se puede jugar, en verdad, no me acordaba de esto. Se puede jugar al Mania Mansion original entero, completo, desde aquí. Pony Express stamps. Yes, not the most valuable kind, but they have a lot of sentimental value to me. Hey, don't touch my stamps. La esmeralda frufru hurtada. Encuentran rastros de pisadas circulares. Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? Yes, that's right. I knew it! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? Tratando de evitar que un tentáculo conquiste el mundo. I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice. ¿Y cómo le va el Dr. Fred? How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. ¿Cómo destruyó las finanzas de la familia? How did he wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers the combination to the safe. I find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times, when a Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. No me va a dejar usarlo. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Vemos aquí que está la habitación donde está la caja fuerte. Necesitamos quitar a Edna de aquí para poder usar la cinta de vídeo y grabar cuando Fred está sonámbulo y abre la caja fuerte y ver la combinación. Pero si empujamos a Edna... Ella se agarra la estatua, que por cierto es la estatua... Y 
es esta estatua? Y vamos a... Arriba, a la guardilla. ¿Y aquí qué hay? Doesn't seem to be anything dangerous in there. Me llevo la manivela. There's no flag on it now because it's evening. I don't think I can pick that up. Se puede volver a poner. Sí. Por ahora me llevo la manivela. I can't, it's stuck. It's not exactly the Ritz. No time for that now. I'm saving the world from Purple Tentacle. Falta mirar la cocina. Falta también llevarme el vómito de broma y salir. Me llevo el letrero de. It's on the other side of the window. Vale, me lo llevo ahora. I guess not too many birds bathe in the evening. It's empty. Hi. <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. Sí, seguro. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Yeah, ya tengo la palanca. Man? Maybe this one. It must be one of these. What's it's really dirty? Maybe this one. I think it's locked. A person would carry around this many keys. Me llevo el letrero de este es el letrero de oferta de empleo. Boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. ¿Te han dicho alguna vez que te pareces a Don Quijote? 
no en nada. No se parece en nada. That's strange. My wife says I look like the ghost pipe. Eso sí. So, want a cigar? Claro, dame uno de esos Havana. Sure, lay one of those Havana babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right. <laughs> Necesito esa pistola. You shouldn't smoke. It's a bad habit. That cracks me up every time. Pero no me la va a dar, claro. Hands off, boy. That's a precision made up. Disgusting. A ver, me llevo también los dientes. Yikes. No va a poder. Hay que empujar los dientes hasta que caigan dentro de la rejilla. Ahí está, lo tenemos. I'd rather not. Eh, empujar. ¿Qué tenemos aquí? Un tenedor Café descafeinado Bueno, me voy a llevar los dos Pero nos interesa que el doctor Fred tome descafeinado The Duke Memorial Brand Microwave. I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage. Who knows what surprises await inside? Un embudo. It looks pretty broken. It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. This fork couldn't pop a spit bubble. Let alone a tough clown like Uzo. Necesito algo que tenga más punta. Quiero pinchar el, el payaso. No sé si se podrá usar el tenedor. It's really stuck to the floor. It's really stuck to the floor. It's not in a wrapper. Esto separarlo. A ver, hockey. Voy a, voy a enseñar la manera 
una vez la manera correcta, digamos, y luego lo hacemos la manera rápida. La manera correcta sería... Esta es la carta que... Brilliant, what a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Te quiero pasarle algo. Ok, I flushed it. Pero hay otra manera más rápida. Vale, esta es la manera correcta. La manera rápida es arrastrando el... There's something in the chronogen. Y lo puedes hacer en cualquier sitio. O sea, tú puedes tener a Hoggy. Es que si no tendrías que volver aquí cada vez que quieres pasarle un objeto de un sitio a otro. Habría que volver ahí, sería un rollo. Entonces, hacemos así. Es el chronogen. Y ya está, ya lo hace. Es como si fuera allí y volviera. Entonces tenemos la carta que dice... Eso es brillante. Qué novedoso diseño. Se lo vamos a dar al hombre este que está... Está triste porque nadie quiere sus diseños. And I thought glow in the dark fake doo doo. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? <laughs> Probably another rejection slip. Oh well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Y ya podemos pasar. Voy a cerrar la puerta. Si hay algo por aquí. Una nota. Wait. Que no es nada. No parece que... Sobras. Things are growing in it. It's pretty small. I'd rather not. Bueno, y me llevo de aquí, me llevo la pistola. pistola se la voy a cambiar por la que tiene este hombre aquí The British are coming ¿Eh? I don't see anything Oh never mind Bien, ya tengo el mechero Hi there What can I do for you, kid? Y eh, buenos puros. Nice cigars. I import them from the finest Cuban munition factories. So, want another cigar? Sí. Está bien, pero si me prometes que no lo vas a encender. Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? con el puro. Ya tengo un puro explosivo. Get lost, kid. Eh, hay un sitio que Hoggy no ha ido todavía. Vamos a ir. Me he olvidado. Cuatrocientos años más tarde, la Ben sigue colgando ahí. Se supone que eh, el, ¿cómo era? Red, Red Edison está en su laboratorio, en su laboratorio en secreto. Y está en el mismo sitio que el laboratorio de la casa del presente y del futuro, con el mismo reloj. The 
it's covered with plines and junk. Just looks like a regular hammer to me, but then I'm no scientist. Hey! What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. Yes. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? Conozco a un inventor que se parece un poco a ti. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. There must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. Inventus. What are you inventing? It's a new size independent fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. What are you inventing? It's a new size independent no, fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. La, ta, la pata de laboratorio. Hey! Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. La bata solo es para el uso de los empleados. Bien. Sabemos que Bernard. Tiene un cartel de oferta de empleo. Ayudante de laboratorio. Drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma not required. Le voy a dar la oferta del cartel a Hoggy. Y le voy a dar aquí el cartel. Help wanted lab assistant. Hard working moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma not required. Se lo voy a dar a Edison. What's this? Mm, help wanted moronic drone. Mm, assist genius. Yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around. And you look dumb enough. Uh... So pick up your lab coat and get to work. Say, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. Tenemos un martillo para zurdo. Just looks like a regular hammer to me, but then I'm no scientist. Recordemos que los gemelos, uno es zurdo y el otro es diestro. Y el que está haciendo el... No me acuerdo dónde era. Arriba, ¿verdad? Era aquí. El que está... Este es el diestro y este es zurdo. Si le cambio los martillos... <risa> ya no puede usarlo. Oh, no. <risa> I've lost it. Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I 
I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. Ahora se... Glad we switched places. El diestro es el que se pone de modelo y el zurdo well. el que hace el que está haciendo la, la estatua. Y en el futuro se intercambia. Ahora. Ahora Edna. <risa> Ahora Edna ya no se puede agarrar. Cuando le den el empujón. Habría que darle la patente de la batería a Red Edison para que fabrique la batería. Mmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar and some gold. Aceite, vinagre y un poco de oro. El aceite lo tengo. Le voy a dar el vino. A Jefferson. Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Wow. El vino en el futuro se convertirá en vinagre. Ya tenemos dos de las tres. falta por mirar this time oh, I think I'll be moseying along now well don't mosey over anything breakable on your way out kind of small for me. It looks kind of small for me. The guys downstairs say they want a big family crest, and in the four corners they want a keg, some babes, a guitar, and some drumsticks. And underneath it all put, America rocks. Just put the plans on the table and I'll get to it. No va 
abrir el cajón este. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. I don't understand that technical stuff. Y aquí podemos darle el café. Decaf wouldn't help there. Se duerme. Must open safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family. Queremos que Edna se vaya. Ahora sí, le podemos pegar un empujón. Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. Bien, ahora usamos la cinta de vídeo. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue. Hacienda. Come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you. Upstairs. Eh, ahí como se ralentiza. Ahora aquí. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue. Come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you. Upstairs. Entonces, cada vez que él intenta abrir, es, de esto se asusta. Cada vez que intenta abrir la caja fuerte, aparece Hacienda. Y luego se asusta. Vamos a ponerlo a modo lento. Rebobinamos. De modo lento. 57. 101. 999 Dr. Fred Edison Internal Revenue Come with Bien, ya tenemos la clave para abrir la caja fuerte. Let's see, it's 101-999-57. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. Doctor Fred, ¿dónde está ahora? Hay 
que hacer que firme el contrato. Usas la moneda y se queda con el chicle. tenemos el suéter el hámster no sé si me lo puedo llevar Tentáculo rescata, devuelve esmeralda. El alcalde felicita al héroe púrpura. O sea, él la roba y luego la devuelve. ¿Dónde está Fred? Aquí está. Sandy. Oh, yeah. I can't believe what a mess these records are. No puedo abrir esto. I'd rather not. Is that a W390B verbal spending report? No, it's another 561AB negative attention statement. ¿Y por qué? A ver. Ah, claro, es la otra habitación. What's the filing date for a BFD206ZZ insufficient credit applications form? Ahora el doctor Fred está encerrado. Podría acceder a través de la chimenea. Seems to have a high tensile strength. I'd rather not. I'm not so sure. My grandma had one like that. What if it had the face of the devil on it, with like red, white, and blue flames coming out of his mouth? Just put the plans on the table and I'll get to it. I like these. Too late, you've already rejected those. Stars and stripes, dull, dull, dull. Hey, don't criticize unless you got a better idea. Looks comfortable. No puedo hacer nada. Voy a darle a Hoggy la octavilla.
George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Dice, George dice que todo americano debería tener una aspiradora en el sótano. George, ¿vale? Y lo metemos dentro de la sugerencia. <coughs> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. What Ahora, a vacuum cleaner. Es <laughs> verdad. Todo americano está obligado a tener una aspiradora en el sótano. Y ya tenemos una aspiradora en el futuro. Aquí debería haber una. Y no está. Aquí no está. Está en el... A ver. Está en, en el futuro, pero ¿dónde está la ver? Bueno, aquí es obvio que no debería estar, pero sí que debería haber una aquí. En el presente debería haber una aspiradora. Aunque no se pueda hacer nada con ella. hacer el mechero se lo doy a hobby el puro también George Washington. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... Blast, 
I hate it when that happens. Y se queda sin dientes. You can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Dice, mira a ver si puede alcanzarme los dientes. Los dientes se han quedado. No sé dónde están. Bueno, no sé si es importante. No sé dónde están los dientes. Pero bueno, lo importante aquí. Es que Bernard le va a dar los dientes, estos dientes. No, así no. Es más fácil así. Los dientes estos de broma se lo va a dar. Could you use these? <laughs> Why, thank you, young man. Strange, I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look. The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh. I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. Dos horas más tarde, tardaron dos horas en encender el fuego. You big baby. Y ya tenemos la manta. Y ya no la necesita, ya no tiene frío. I've got better things to do. Navajo, I think. Voy a salir. Ah. Recordemos que antes estuvimos hablando con George Washington y nos dijo que le había cortado un montón de cerezos. Pero que aquí no había cerezo. Vamos a pintar los naranjos chinos de rojo. Y vamos a decirle a George que... Que mira, ahí hay un cerezo. A ver, hazme una demostración, a ver... A ver si puede cortarlo. Excuse me. Yes. He estado pensando sobre lo que dijiste sobre los cerezos. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well. No me harías una demostración. Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... Apuesto que no puedes. No, puedes. no podrías cortar un árbol ni aunque fuera para rescatar a tu abuela. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said, y ese árbol there at once. Try to es este árbol. I'm stuck in this. Y ya tenemos a la ver libre. Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. Ya podemos usar a la ver. Get me out of here! I haven't done any 
anything. Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me. Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. Bien, tenemos un escalpelo, claro, ella es estudiante de medicina. Probably Mark. I think they're both cheating. Si intentas pasar, se le trocuta. Yuhu, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Sáqueme de aquí, está violando mis derechos. Get me out of here! This is a violation of my rights. Rights? You're a human, you don't have any rights. Tengo que usar el baño. I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Bien, ya me pueden pasar objetos. La cronoletrina está aquí. I can see Dr. Fred's old lab, and his generator is still there. Gee, I could really use that power, but I'll never get through this window. I think it'd take a longer course. Hace un alargador. Fascinating. A shabby paint job. I can't. No puedo ir más allá. I don't think I can put that in the chronojohn. Ah, no puedo. I don't think no. I can put that in the chronojohn. para buscar Ah mira con el con el escalpelo voy a tener que salir otra vez You who Mr. Tentacle Guy What I have to go to the bathroom Oh all right Come on let's take a walk Okay human do your business Voy a darle el escalpelo a Bernard, que es lo que va a usar para destruir, para pinchar el payaso. The voice of Uso in a box. Tendrá 
Tentáculo Púrpura nombrado Hombre del Año. Tentáculo visita la Casa Blanca. It doesn't seem to open. El hamster va aquí. Que nos han dicho que lo usaban para. Woo, look at them go. Para generar electricidad. Pero se cansa enseguida. Por cierto, desaparece. Wow, look at them go. Eso es un fallo del juego, ¿eh? No debería desaparecer toda esta parte. Woo, look at them go. Más que me falta. Scratch one come quad tree. Creo que me falta encontrar los dientes de Washington. dándole por ejemplo el aceite ah excelente I need that for my super battery puedo darle no sé si la verle puede us puede usar A ver, ¿puedo hablar con esta gente? Doctor Fred, ¿es that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human race. Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife Zedna, and my son Ved. Huh. Hmm. Nice to meet you. Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get in, eh? 
They said macrame wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only human. Hey, they can cheat, you can't. Crabby looking enough already. ¿Qué le puedo dar a la ver para salir de ahí? Bueno, lo primero. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to throw up all over. Vomitar. Uh oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Yo creo que aquí diploma. I shouldn't. He paid a lot of money for that. I still don't understand how they can eat through a sucker. Oh, I've got plenty of those at home. License to treat tentacles for the betterment of the tentacle race. License to euthanize humans for the betterment of the tentacle race. El concurso. Hold it. No puedo salir por ahí. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. I wish I had some sort of tentacle disguise. Mm, vale. Bien, le voy a pedir otra vez. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Tengo que usar el baño. To go to the bathroom. Oh, all right. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Le voy a dar el diagrama de tentáculo a Hoggy. Y Hoggy se lo va a dar. No sé si está aquí. No, en la siguiente. Aquí. Va a usar el diseño como bandera. Y en el futuro la bandera será esa. Ahora nos vamos con Bernard. Y no, primero hay que meterse ahora por, por la chimenea. Entonces, ¿dónde está en el futuro? Eh, la bandera donde ha aparecido. Aquí no porque es de noche. Claro, 
Por eso se puede quitar la manivela. Le damos la manivela a Hoggy. No, ves, aquí no es, es en el futuro. Entonces la manivela va para la ver. Tiene que haber una manera de subir al tejado. Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Usamos la manivela. Y ya tenemos el disfraz de tentáculo. Ahora se puede mover por cualquier parte de la casa sin que lo metas en la cárcel. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best lamb. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good looking tentacle. They may be oppressive and power mad, but at least the tentacles recycle stuff. La habitación es exactamente igual, no ha cambiado nada. Está vacío el armario. Bueno, aquí es todo nada. It's busted up good. Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? <risa> Va a usar uno de estos, uno de ellos, para el concurso. Estoy buscando una mascota. I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey, you came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable. Disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. <laughs> you losers can't even ride tricycles. You see why no one wants them as pets? I'm here by salir. accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. Looks incredibly old. I can't. Aquí está la cápsula del tiempo que enterraron 400 años antes. 
entonces si le pasamos a ver el abre lata a la vez puede usarlo para abrir la, la cápsula y ya tenemos el vinagre es el vino que pusimos 400 años antes te lo damos a Hoggy y ya tenemos la segunda de las tres cosas que necesitamos para hacer la batería. Falta el oro. Hmm, how decorative. In commemoration of the Constitutional Convention interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Run over by a plow, A.D. 1795. Sorry about the dents. Que sigue aquí la momia. Y aquí tenemos... It's that guy from the Hawaiian Cop Show. Aquí está el, el alargador. Ya tenemos el alargador. Nos llevamos los patines. Groovy. Yo creo que la lámpara no. No way, those things are dangerous. Great Scott, your purple, uh, um. Yes. Este es el tentáculo púrpura original. Say, you look kind of familiar. Of course I do, nitwit. I'm Purple Tentacle, renowned world conqueror. Luego hablamos con él. que enchufar la letrina a ver ahora sí podemos salir tell me lieutenant how do you really feel about humans honestly sir i think they're filthy obscene foul sickening like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days That's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir. That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. por la ventana y ahora está en el sótano fijaos como el gato intenta pasar por debajo de la valla y cuando yo me acerco se esconde a ver necesitamos 
despertar al doctor? I better not. My scoutmaster warned me to be careful. Con esto no. Seems to have a high tensile strength. Abajo han encendido la chimenea. Lo que voy a hacer, eh, me falta, eh, le he entregado el, el aceite, tengo el vinagre, falta oro para crear la batería. Y el oro, eh, voy a tapar la chimenea, ahora sale humo abajo. El pájaro da la alarma de, de incendio. Okay. Who was the idiot who started the fire? Y ahora que se han ido. Tengo la pluma de oro. Me la puedo llevar. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I. I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh. Hey, catch you later. Ya tengo el oro, ya lo tengo todo. Así que le voy a dar el vinagre. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. Y el oro. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. Science, it will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Ahora no me la deja llevar. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Ya tengo la batería, pero está descargada. It's mine, mine, mine. The meter says that it's at zero power. Ahora vamos a ver otra vez a Franklin. That doesn't need a battery. A ver cómo lo hacemos. Excuse me, mister. Mr. Electricity? That would be me. Well, see ya. No. Carry on. Tenemos... Tenemos que hacer que... Tenemos que colocar la batería para que... Para que... Al alcanzarle el rayo a, a la cometa, se cargue. Claro, si se lo damos a él... No. Bien, 
otra cosa que tenemos que hacer es que el día está está despejado necesitamos que haya tormenta entonces para hacer una tormenta vamos a ir aquí a la cocina voy a llenar el cubo con agua Voy a usar el jabón en el agua. Water's all sudsy now. Y todos sabemos que cuando lavamos el coche siempre llueve, ¿no? Pues vamos a lavar el coche. Dum -de -dum. Y automáticamente <ríe> ya tenemos la tormenta. Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. Hey Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. Necesitamos esa cometa. A ver, ¿Cuál era la habitación de Franklin? Esta. Sorry, can't talk. Busy making history. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Claro, el fuego lo apagaron. Y este todavía tiene frío. Y tiene otra manta. La, bueno, la misma. La han vuelto a recuperar. Y no recuerdo dónde ha puesto este hombre la, la cometa. de nuevo ¿qué hace? viene otra vez uh, it's clean enough for me no está hecho un asco todavía people's underwear. That doesn't need a battery. I don't quite see how it can fly. Looks like he spent a lot of time in there. No sé dónde está la cometa. Me falta la cometa. Falta 
los dientes de Washington que salieron disparados. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. They have got to put them somewhere. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. I roll them myself. Nah, beat it, kid. No me da otro puro. Solo uno. Necesito ganar el concurso. Porque si intento entrar aquí. Sorry, I'm under strict orders from Tentacle Number One, the Almighty Elder, the Grand Puma, Purple Tentacle, not to let anyone near this clock. But I have rights. I'm a tentacle. <laughs> And a darn attractive one, I might add. But no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. A menos que tenga que perseguir humanos. Escape. You're talking to the wrong people. We like it here. We are celebrities. Si hacemos que estos tres se escapen, el otro saldrá corriendo a buscarlo y dejará libre la chimenea, la chimenea del reloj. Entonces, vamos a ir arriba, necesitamos un humano y prepararlo. Esta es el, el premio del ganador del concurso. Una cena para dos. Vamos a ponerle los patines a la momia y le vamos a poner el nombre You're ready to go now. y lo vamos a empujar. Ahora tenemos que hacer que gane el concurso. Aquí están los jueces. Juzgan el mejor cabello, la mejor sonrisa y la mejor risa. When are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. As usual, no one competes with Harold. Agree. Gana Harold. Este es Harold. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer para que gane la momia? Vamos a darle los espaguetis a la ver. Y ahora están los... Eh, no son fideos, aunque bueno, realmente son espaguetis. No son fideos. Pone mojados y pastosos. ¿Por qué? Porque 
lo han metido dentro de la cronoletrina que tiene agua así que se han ablandado y ahora son ahí está le ponemos todos los espaguetis en la cabeza pero aún así no va a ganar vamos a darle el tenedor a la ver y vamos a arreglarle el pelo ahora sí se lo va a comer Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. Wow. For a moment, that's some great looking hair. Yes, it has a certain meatiness. But does it have stars and lightning bolts? No, Harold is still the best. Sigue siendo mejor. Say, drop dead. I'd give first place to the mummy. Agreed. El problema es que Harold siempre va a ser mejor que la momia. Haga lo que haga. Pero si le pongo, por ejemplo, ahora... Podríamos jugar la mejor sonrisa, lo, la mejor risa. Le vamos a dar, a la ver, le vamos a dar el, la caja de risa que la sacamos del payaso y se lo vamos a poner a la momia. Siempre gana el Harold. Mejor risa. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best laugh? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> huh. 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 I think our mama friend picked up a sense of humor somewhere. Yes, but Harold still tops him. Oh, of course. Harold wins hands down. But if it weren't for Harold, I'd let the mummy have it. Si no fuera por Harold, se lo daría la momia. Y luego estaría la mejor sonrisa que la momia no tiene. Guys going to judge best smile. Oh, all right. Yow, that Harold sure knows how to bear them beauties. I could see my reflection in one of his incisors. First place. Pero ya no dice si no fuera por Harold se lo daría la momia, porque la momia ahora mismo no tiene ninguna sonrisa. Entonces hay que conseguir que tenga una sonrisa. No sé si con la tinta, con el tipex. No creo. I don't think that would look better white. Get it? No. That's the spirit, Mr. Mummy. <laughs> Una broma. Es. Pues no sé, para ponerle una sonrisa no lo sé. No sé si podríamos encontrar... A ver, tenemos aquí la dentadura del caballo. Hey, it's not a toy. No, creo que con la pintura... No, no. I like it that color. enough to carry the weight of his death on my conscience. Aquí 
le puedo gastar una broma, por ejemplo, a este. You didn't expect me to fall for that old gag, did you? You have to get up pretty early in the morning to fool this old joker. In fact, I invented disappearing ink. Él lo inventó. No puedo volver a cambiar la pistola, ¿verdad? That guy looks like Benjamin Franklin. Get last, kid. Sí que se parece. I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage. It doesn't seem to open. I wouldn't want to break such a fine specimen of dryer. My secret weapon is almost ready. Planes para detener el mundo. Please, the tentacles control most of the world already. Classy. Not my style. Yo creo que aquí nada, ¿no? Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. It may trouble you. Ask away, sir. I can take it. I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass. Sir Cannon, son, this is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit firm lately? You mean like non-squishy and non-slimy? That's right, come closer. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate us. No! Though basically stupid, they can be tricky. They may be in disguise. It's busted up good. A 
horticultural horror. I don't think I can put that in the cross. No se puede meter. It looks kind of small for me. I guess not too many birds bathe in the evening. Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. I'd rather not. It won't budge. It won't budge. I'd rather not. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Well, nada. Hey, want to see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh, <laughs> my Pony Express stamp. You'll ruin my Pony Express stamp. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. We should really try to find some outfit for those. Negative feelings. Luego vamos a necesitar el sello. It looks like all the inks disappeared now. Get out of here. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. Ya tenemos el sello. Nos va a servir después para... Para pedir el diamante por correo. It looks like a physics professor I knew in this. Is that a W390B frivolous spending report? I think it's fake. No, it's another 561AB negative attention statement. What's up? Later, dude.
necesito los dientes del caballo. Será la sonrisa de la momia, pero no me acuerdo cómo era. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. El libro, espera. Ahem. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous electric... <laughs> If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Y ya tengo los dientes. No me acordaba. Ahora los dientes se los damos a la ver. Que se los va a poner a la momia como sonrisa. Y ahora juzga la sonrisa. Hey, don't you think you should judge best smile again? Oh, all right. You know that quiet one in the bandages has the biggest smile I've ever seen. But his teeth aren't as pearly white as Harold's. Oh, of course, there's no comparison. But I think we should give second place to the mummy, because he maintains it for so long. Agree. Sigue ganando Harold. Siempre sigue ganando Harold. Si uso el tipex. I don't think no. that would look better white. <laughs> Bien. Sabemos que ha quedado la momia en segundo lugar en todo. Si no llega a ser por Harold, habría ganado. Así es que hay que hacer que Harold se vaya del concurso. Y volvemos al gato. Si utilizamos el tipex con la cerca... This ought to be good. Convertimos el gato en una mofeta. Can't get to it up there. Bien, a ver cómo bajamos el gato de ahí. El hamster no se lo podemos pasar, I ¿verdad? No. That in the chrono, John. Creo que voy a necesitar el ratón de goma. Good thing we've got no. Fred under wraps in the next room. El que tiene este gato. Cats dig these. No, no quiere dármelo. Yipe. I don't wanna. ¿Por qué? Is that a W390B frivolous? ¿Qué le podemos dar al gato? I wouldn't want him to squirt me back. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? No puedo mover las camas. Where am I gonna put it? No. I can't open it.
What did you say your wife's name was again? Yo recuerdo que las camas tenían algo que ver. Eso es. Y si uso esta cama... Y si muevo... A ver, usar... No. Lo que pasa es que está demasiado cerca y no me da tiempo, ¿verdad? Exacto. Lo que hay que hacer es esta cama... Que chirría, hay que intercambiarla por esta que está aquí. Where am I gonna put it? Lo que quiero es que la intercambie, no sé cómo se hace. A ver, dar. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? ¿Cómo es? Where am I gonna put it? La polea la podemos enganchar con la cama y sacarla por la ventana. Y ahora sí, hay espacio para mover la otra cama. Hoy necesito una cuerda. El único sitio. Me veo que hay una cuerda. Es la cuerda que tiene eh, atada al doctor Fred. Tentáculo candidato republicano. El senador Hens molesto. Así es como se hizo con el mundo. No lo sé. Si uso, si pongo usar colchón, ah, ahí está, usar colchón, ah, ahí está, esto es, no había que usar eso, eso es. Es usar colchón, no usar cama. Sounds like the cats caught a moose up there. Ahora los he intercambiado. Ahora sí, usar colchón y me da tiempo a venir aquí y llevarme el ratón. Y ahora se lo doy a la ver que lo va a usar. Well, 
What do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. Y se lleva. Another specimen. Se lleva el gato. Ooh, a que parece una, una mofeta. Lightning. Ahora. Le damos el... Please, why must you test me? No. No se lo tenemos que dar. ¿Por qué no? Oh, please, why must you test me? Era esta gente. Lo que hay que hacer es quitarse a Harold de encima. This doesn't seem like the best place to start a panic. No, entonces dónde es? This doesn't seem like the They've been told not to accept gifts from strangers, but I'll take whatever it is. Pero yo aceptaría lo que fuera, ¿vale? Acepta el gato. Y luego me dice que no. Oh, please, why must you test me? Y si le damos el ratón. Oh, please, Tampoco. why must you test me? They've been told not to accept gifts from strangers, but I'll take whatever it is. Qué raro. El gato, bueno, el gato. Oh. Lo que parece una mofeta hay que usarlo donde. Sí, hay que usarlo en otro sitio. Creo que me estoy equivocando. No se usa el gato para asustar a Harold. Harold quiere algo. El vómito, que es lo que no he usado todavía. It looks almost real. I don't think I can put that in the chronogon. El vomito. Harold, that <laughs> Rose. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots! You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. 
Bien, ahora ya que tenemos a Harold fuera de combate, la momia va a ganar. Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. Ahora la sonrisa. Hey, don't you think you should judge best smile again? Oh, all right. I like the quiet one with the big teeth. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agree. Hey, don't you think you should judge best laugh again? Oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? I know. Why did the human cross the road? Because his tentacle owner told him to. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Ha ha ha! It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agreed. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Yes, our work here is done. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. Bien, ya tenemos el trofeo. Ooh. Dinner for two at y una cena para dos en el Club Ted, Tentáculo. Tentacles only. Bien, ahora lo importante es la cena. Bien, vamos a hablar con el guardia. How's it going, Mr. Tentacle Guy? Oh, same as ever. I'm broke, hate my job, etc. Estoy aquí para verte a ti, guapote. I'm, uh, here to see you, big boy. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about Club Tentacle? Hey, uh, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. Eh. Uh. I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. Bien, le voy a dar el certificado. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. Ahora desactivamos el interruptor. You're free! Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big deal. I said you're free, now get off your fat lazy butts and start enjoying it.
Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustache tail tentacle with a big net. If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. It's like idea. Stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I mofetas. <laughs> Para eso sirve el gato mofeta este. Hey, look, a skunk. <laughs> Here, you mangy humans! You can't do this! This is an escape proof facility! Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? Y ahora ya podemos ir al sótano. Alargador. Ahí. ¿Recordáis lo de cada americano debería tener una aspiradora en el sótano? Pues esta aspiradora. I don't think so. That's how you empty the vacuum clean. Good riddance. Probably just the tentacles winter, uh, winter things. It has a door on the side. Y ahora? Hace falta energía. El gato no nos va a servir para esto, ¿verdad? I think I've had enough fun with Mr. Kitty. Creo que eh, no, le, no, no tenemos que quitar la cometa. Creo que tenemos que fabricar una cometa. It looks kind of small for me. I got something good for you, Mister. Uh, Mister. Mister Brainstorm. Yes, hand it over. Hmm. Doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah! I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history. No, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Vale, rápidamente hay que usar la batería con la cometa. Now. Car cometa. 
Oui She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. Bien, ya está la batería cargada. Wow. Ahora falta el diamante. Y falta dar energía a la esta cronoletrina. Que no sé cómo se activa. Take that. I think not. Siete gomas no tiene sentido. Entonces aquí hay que salvar a, al doctor Fred. No sé si hay que cortar. Si directamente me llevo la cuerda, a lo mejor la desata, ¿no? Era así de fácil. No había que cortar nada. Bien, tengo la cuerda. Si uso la cuerda. I just got him no, con la cama. Nah. No. Doctor Fred must still be asleep. It's not exactly the Ritz. Nah. No. Yo quería atar la. A ver, quería atar la cuerda aquí. It won't fit through those little grunts. No, aquí no, aquí. I'd rather not. Si me lo llevo tal cual. Ahí está. Uh oh. Hey, where'd he go? Ah, there you are. There's no escape from the IRS. No. Empujar cama. I wouldn't want to strain myself. Dar. I wouldn't want to strain myself. Hmm. I don't think I can no, do that.
me quedan muchos objetos. Ah, espérate, espérate. Que la cuerda está abajo y abajo lo que está es la otra momia. El presidente enfermo tentáculo toma poder. Yo estoy al cargo aquí. Vale, el presidente se enfermó y él lo sustituyó. Claro, ahora, si uso la cuerda con la momia... Girar. Ed con Dr. Fred. Los intercambiamos. Uh -oh. hey. Who's this doc? Relative. Well, I'm sure we can order him next. No. This isn't a party. Así no. Ah, 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 espérate, espérate. Vamos a pintar la momia de rojo. No sé si esto será suficiente. Doctor. Y ahora hay que hacer lo contrario, hay que tirar desde abajo. I don't think that will do much good from here. Desde aquí no, ah, desde arriba hay que saltar. I'd rather not. Mirar. No, nah, I'm not going to make that mistake again. Uf. 
Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. Está durmiendo. Y llevaba meses sin dormir. Entonces le usamos el embudo y le damos el café con cafeína para que se despierte. Damn good coffee. Vale, vamos a darle el contrato. I got the contract for you to sign, doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Pues entonces, léalo. Okay, so read it first. I'm busy trying to think of a way to save humanity. I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Pero si de esto depende la, toda la raza humana. Whole human race is at risk. Of course, that's why I'm busy trying to think of a way to save it. I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. Eso tampoco. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Sign it or I'll get real mad. And do what? Not be my friend anymore? <laughs> ha ha ha. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? Eh, voy a lograr que declaren a Púrpura loco y lo arresten. Voy a hacer campaña para que prohíban los tentáculos. Le ofrecí un soborno a Tentáculo Púrpura y lo aceptó. No puedo, oye, ¿te has hecho miembro del club de disco? Voy a hacer este. I guess I can't. Hey, did you join a record club lately? Good God, no. Those things are horrible money leeching death traps. Well, there's a delivery man upstairs with a carton of easy listening eight tracks for you. He says you have to pay for them. Ah, not again. Unless you sign this refusal form immediately. Ah, ahí está. Ya lo tenemos. Contrato firmado. Thanks. That was a close one. Well, good luck. Ahora usamos el sello con el contrato. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. Y no sé si habrá que hacer otra cosa más antes de enviar la carta. It's no use. We've already missed the ah, claro, caduco. Vale, si lo enviamos al pasado y lo enviamos desde el pasado ya no va a caducar. Llegará como 200 años antes. El Pony Express. <risa> Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million dollars in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? 
This is fairly crap. No, I heard that, you moron! When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent! This is an emergency! Han traducido moron como moroso. No está bien. Moron es un, un idiota, un imbécil. Eh, bueno, ya tenemos... Ahora, aquí tiene que haber dinero. Wow, Dr. Fred's rich. Tiene los dos millones. Ahora, tenemos que pedir el... el diamante. Sabemos que hay un anuncio de televisión. ¿Dónde era? No, aquí no. No, no, era abajo. A ver, ¿dónde era? Aquí no. En la primera. He's still making his pitch. That's right, an incredible 4,000 carat diamond for the piddling sum of two million dollars. That number again, 1-800-STAR-WARS. Call now, tell them Yoda sent you. No sé si simplemente hay que usar el teléfono. Fatty's in the way now. I'd better find a different one. El que está abajo. Simplemente hay que usar el teléfono y ya está. Couch Potato Shopping Channel. Wanda speaking. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Ya llegó el diamante. Now that's service. <laughs> I better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. Can we bring back my friends now? We've repaired the primary device, but before we can do anything, both time pods must be energized as well. Then we can bring back uh, what's his name and who's her face. Hoagie and Laverne. Yes, fine specimens. De aquí está todo hecho. Desde este punto de vista. Aunque hay otras cosas que hacer, pero. Eres para ayudar a los del pasado y los del futuro. Eh, no puedo. Ver. It doesn't seem to open. It already seems to be out of order. It already seems to be out of order. Looks abandoned. 
vacuum up mice? Maybe later. No me acuerdo lo que hay que hacer ahora. Not. Nah. Creo que no hay nada más que hacer. Y aquí lo único que hay que hacer es activar el generador. Que se activa. Se activa con, con el hámster. I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. Metemos el hamster en hielo. Y 200 años más tarde. I can't. Debería estar aquí. Looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. Y ahora hay que descongelarlo. trouble with one of the humans trouble what sort of trouble nothing I couldn't handle but I've noticed something about the humans that may pose a problem do continue well sir in general they seem to be a bit larger than us tentacles you know taller heftier more massive and I get the picture son I don't mean to carry on, sir. It's just that it makes me feel inadequate, small, inferior. I'll Before you go off the deep end there, let me tell you why I called you here. You see, I've invented something which will end our troubles with those glandular leg walkers for good. I've invented the diminuator. The what? It's a shrinking ray, don't. Oh, I get it. Now I need you to get me a few parts so I can finish the thing. Come over here. It says opener. I don't think so. I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So 
Don't do it. Monster frío y mojado. It still looks really cold. Bien, necesitamos ponerle el suéter. El problema es que el suéter no va a pasar al otro lado. I don't think I can put that in the chronogon. Bien, y sé cómo se hace, pero no recuerdo. Bien, sé lo que hay que hacer. Pero no me acuerdo. A ver, sé que hay que usar la secadora para encoger el, el abrigo y que le quepa al, al hámster. I'd rather not. It's a coin op. Ahí está. Hace falta moneda. No tengo moneda. It won't budge. Y no recuerdo dónde se consiguen las monedas. Donde hay... el, el único sitio donde hay monedas está aquí. Donde podría haber monedas. Esto ya lo intenté. It already seems to be out of order. Y arriba en la máquina, pero en la máquina. Creo que también lo intenté, ¿verdad? Ahí está, era esto. ¿1968? No va a acabar nunca así, ¿eh? Oh, 1977. I figure this is about 876,000... 76.600 dólares en moneda. Y ahora lo que va a hacer es poner todas las monedas en la máquina de en la secadora. Uf. Ahora nos vamos con la ver. Y 200 años más tarde es cuando para de sacar. Y abrir y tenemos un suéter chiquitito. <risa> ha encogido el suéter. El suéter lo usamos con el hámster que tiene frío. Y ahora nos vamos al sótano. Y usamos el hámster con el generador. Y se escapa. Y ahora es cuando tenemos que usar... A ver, vamos a cerrar la puerta. 
y ahora es cuando hay que usar el, la aspiradora para atrapar al hámster. That sucker go! He just keeps running and running and running. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! Boogie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sledge matic Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... <laughs> you can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same spot. Didn't you see the fly? We're... We're... We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now wait just a minute. It's Green Tentacle! It's Green Tentacle! What was that green? What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chrono Jar. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge o the sludge Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha. Run 
waiting for it. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. No tengo ningún objeto. That's right, an incredible 4,000 carat diamond for the piddling sum of two million dollars. That number again, 1-800-STAR-WARS. Call now, tell them Yoda sent you. Creo que puedo salir. Perhaps if I aha. Uh oh. Take that. And this. Drat. Perhaps if I readjust the static phrase dynamo again. Bien, ya veo lo que hay que hacer. We're too little. Tenemos que hacer que entre. We're too little. No. Yo creía que había que ponerle la cadena. Y dejarlo encerrado. Pero claro, él puede abrir la cadena desde de dentro. Hay que dejarlo encerrado. Ajá. Uh -oh. Take that. Creo, vamos, a lo mejor no. And this. Drat. O a lo mejor es que salimos por la otra puerta Always conks out as y no nos ve. Finish them off. Hay que esperar aquí a que salgan grandes. Salir por esta puerta y a lo mejor no nos ve. Y podemos escapar. Yipes. No. Ha. Take that. And this. Drat. There, I think. Aha. Uh oh. Take that. Drat. Y si ahora que está la puerta abierta, al ser pequeño. Yipes. No. Aha. Take that. Drat. Perhaps if I readjust. Only the hardware store carried larger batteries. Neat. No time for that no. now. No. 
That's right, an incredible thousand carat diamond for the piddling sum of two million dollars. That number again, 1-800-STAR-WARS. Wanda will be standing by to take your call. Pues a lo mejor es que simplemente hay que hacer algo en la otra... Ajá. En la otra habitación. Uh -oh. Take that. <risa> And this. Drat. Esa es la música. How can it possibly continue to thwart me? No time for that now. Mmm, plenty of wattage in this stereo. I can't wait to try my 8-tracks in it. Wow! This is loud! No time for that now. No. En una bola, bien. ¿Para qué? I don't need to take over the world. Es la bola lo que necesito de aquí. Hey, se ha ido. Where'd he go? Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Voy a... Voy a apagar esta locura porque si no... Ah, por eso necesito la bola. Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans amount to very little. <laughs> Geek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed. I think it's designed to run with something. More like a small rodent. Vale, tenemos. You can't stop me. I've already... Tenemos el espejo del doctor. Si hacemos que rebote el rayo. Pero cómo? You can't stop me. You humans are so small-minded. <laughs> Geek! Se vuelve a repetir. Hay que hacer algo con el espejo. Quizá ponérselo ellos. Run all you like, you insignificant insect. 
My other selves are taking over the world as we speak. The human race is doomed. Not my type. Dr. Fred, are you all right? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! That doesn't sound like a good idea. That doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> Dr. Fred, are you all right? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! You can't stop me. I think it's designed to run with something. More like a small rodent. We better deal with purple tentacle first. My other selves are taking over the world as we speak. You can't stop me. Bueno, ¿y qué es lo que no te gusta de los seres humanos? What is it you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. Sin embargo, los seres humanos crearon el cienomático que os volvió súper inteligente. But humans also created the sludgeomatic which made you super intelligent. Nonsense. I created that myself and sent it back through time. I knew Fred's mad scientist ego would make him use it. How's that for a paradox? It makes my heads hurt. Right. Anyway, you can see why I detest humans. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. En el centro de la cabeza. Demonstration. Ah, apuesto a que no podrías pegarle ni a tu propia frente. I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. No va a picar. Nice try. Vale, lo que tiene que hacer ahora... Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. Esto. Lo que parece es que solo odias al Dr. Fred. Lo que queremos hacer es que dispare a Fred para que le rebote el rayo. Sounds like you just hate Dr. Fred. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Surely we can talk this out. to Siberia. It's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now, kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. 
please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. Sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. Glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. Y se termina. Y tenemos la bandera, claro. Hoggy cambió el pasado. Y, y todo lo que él cambió se queda. Uf, es que es una pasada, ¿eh? Es la mejor aventura gráfica que existe. todo, en todo. La historia está muy bien, cómo le afecta el pasado y el presente al futuro. Que podamos manejar tres personajes diferentes, que se ayuden entre sí, genial, es una maravilla. 